morning, everyone. Okay, we're going to get started just like usual. So we're going to go ahead and, and lift up through our uh, spine here, feeling that length between each vertebrae. And we're going to chin tuck back for 10. Okay, let's get ready and begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Good, let's keep that length. We're gonna do our head turns from side to side, five each direction, alternating. Ready, and begin. One, back to center. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, quick warm up here. We're gonna do some 30, 10 work. So 30 seconds of warm up move and 10 seconds to get ready for the next one. Our first one we're gonna do is our cat cow. So remember you can do this from your seated position or again, untucking the spine here. Okay, just um, from this position or from your chair. And if you have no issues coming up and down off the floor, you may want to do a traditional cat cow right off the floor here, okay? So you pick which one works best for you. I'm gonna do the middle one here on the chair. All right, 30 seconds, let's get ready and begin. Okay. So remember, we're not forcing anything. We're just trying to loosen up, waking up the spine, feel that movement. Remember this house is our central nervous system. So we wanna take good care of our spine. Three, two, and one. All right, so we just moved our spine in that direction. Next, we're gonna just do some gentle twisting. Okay, so the side to side, or you can do it seated right here, either or. Nice gentle twist, kind of looking over that shoulder to the best you can. Remember, we're not forcing anything. We're just waking up the body, okay? Three, two, and one, okay? Moving on to our hip circle. So we're kind of creeping down the body here. So if you're seated, you're just gonna have those feet wide and you're gonna rotate like this. Okay, standing, you put your hips into it a little more. Okay, halfway through, we're going to go ahead and switch the direction. And switch directions. Three, two, and one, we're gonna get the knee into it next. So we're gonna do alternating knee raise. We're gonna pull the arm down as well. Okay, this looks the same seated right here. Let's go. So go ahead, get those shoulders involved. Five, three, two, and one, okay? Next, we're gonna squat and a heel raise. So it's gonna go squat up onto the toes. Squat up onto the toes, okay? If you're seated, get, go ahead, get going. Leg extension, leg extension onto the toes, okay? So here's your seated variation. All right, otherwise, sink it down. Drive it up, heel raise, okay? And time on those. 
All right, last one. We are gonna do seal jacks. Okay, so arms come out this way. Ready, begin, so tap, tap. Okay, think of your shoulder blades moving here. Think of this stretch through the front as you squeeze through the back. You're seated. Okay. All right, we're gonna do one more after this. I wanna get that blood flow going just a little bit more. We're gonna jog in place, okay? So you can either march it high in place, okay, like this, or you can do a quick foot like you're running, okay? So whichever feels better for you. It's gonna look the same seated, okay? So either big march or quick little jog, okay? Whatever feels good. We're gonna get into our workout after this one, two, and one. Okay, so easing into our workout, we're gonna do what we did last week as far as the, the format. Okay, so it's gonna be two um, blocks. They're 12 minutes each, AB, AB style, okay? And um, then uh, as a finisher, we're gonna go through and do one more round of each all together for a third 12 minute block, okay? So just follow along with me, I'll, I'll guide you through it. Our first block, we have squats, jumping jacks, ground overhead. Okay, so remember, our ground overhead is where we're kind of pretending to pick something up off the floor. I want you to look right here, I want you to look that my hips come back like this, right? I want you to think of hips going back versus shoulders coming down, okay? Because look, if I do this, do you see what it does to my back? Okay, versus this. You see the difference there? Okay, that's gonna protect your lower back. So ground to overhead. Pick it up, put it away, okay? Pick it up, put it away, all right? You can come out a little forward if that's better on your shoulder joint, or you can take the overhead out all the way. So pick it up here, pick it up here. Okay, overhead's not good for everybody if you have shoulder issues. So you have to use your discretion, which is gonna be best there, okay? Hinge and row, like we always do. Okay, our kickback and kickback. Okay, so tricep kickback and hamstring kickback right here. And then our final one is our side step in W fly with or without a very light pair of weights, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first AB. So it's our squats and our jumping jacks. We're gonna perform two rounds before we move on. So squats, shoulder width apart, okay, with the heels. All right, we're gonna sink it back and drive it up. All right, or you're gonna do an alternating leg extension if you're seated here, okay? Let's get ready and begin. All right, so sink it down, drag it up. If you want, you can add a weight. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Make this a goblet squat, or you can just do a body weight. As I come up, I'm maintaining contact on the floor with my heels, and I'm really squeeze, squeeze, squeezing my glutes on that way up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the way up. Inhale as I lower, exhale as I squeeze up. 10 more seconds here, then we're gonna go into jumping jacks. And time, good, if you had a weight, you can put it aside. All right, so our modified jumping jacks, if you're advanced, maybe you do a couple regular, okay? If this is no good, you can go back to our seal jacks like in our warm up. Okay, here we go. And here's our seated, right? Here's how we perform it seated or here. This feels better. Okay. Remember we have, we go back to squats 
And one more set of jumping jacks before we move on to the next eight day. You should get your heart rate up. You go at your pace, okay? Your pace may look different than mine and that's okay. All right, listen to your body. Two and one, excellent. Back to our goblet squat. So option to hold a weight here at chest, all right? Heels are about shoulder width apart, ready? And begin, here we go. Just sink it down, drive it up. Stay present, stay focused. Think of those muscle contractions you're trying to create in the lower body here, okay? You wanna feel those muscles work. Three, two, and time. Excellent. Way to side if you're using it. Back to our second set of jumping jacks. Remember, modify the arm with the seal jack if overhead hurts, okay? Ready? And begin, here we go. Remember, if you're advanced, you might be doing this a little bit. Just an option, you don't have to. And remember, our timer's our guide, okay? Just keeps us, you know, on time with the duration of the class. But, you know, don't let that time take you away from getting a drink or some extra rest if you need it. Remember our continuous efforts is the key to unlocking our potential, okay? So you keep showing up, you keep on putting the effort in, that's what matters most in time, okay? Not how many reps you're getting in or anything like that, it's just your consistency over time. Okay, ground to overhead, all right? So feet are about shoulder width apart, toes are forward, okay? Or push those hips back, pick it up, put it on the shelf, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? Remember, take the overhead press out, if that's better. Hips push back so you have a nice neutral spine. Weight is primarily in the heel of our foot. You can do this without weights too, or with just one weight. Okay, if you find your two weights was too much and you wanna use one weight like this, you can do that as well, okay? Hinge and row is next, okay? Feet are directly under the hips now, so a little closer together. Still gonna push those hips back though, here we go. Push back, row. Squeeze up. So these movements are similar, but different, okay? They are both hinge movements because we're pushing the hips back trying to keep a neutral spine. The first one is more of a traditional deadlift pattern. And this one is a Romanian deadlift pattern, which just means our legs are a little straighter and closer together. And time. Back to our ground overhead. Okay, so feet come wider, toes are still forward, about shoulder width apart, okay? So wider stance, and the weights are inside our legs instead of outside, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna hinge. Put it away, okay? There's a little more knee flexion in this one because we have the wider stance. But both of these um, styles of deadlifting 
are working the back side of the body, the glutes, the lower back, the hamstrings. We're pairing a pressing upper body movement for the shoulders with this one. Right, our overhead press. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna step the feet together, right? Okay, so we go from here to here, and now the weights are on the outside of our body. Still doing the same thing now, okay? And we're pairing it with an upper body movement for the back, or row, okay? Here we go. Row. Stay present. Okay, I'm trying to keep my belly button pulled back towards my spine as I bend over and as I squeeze to stand up. Trying to keep my neck in line with my spine. So looking at some focal point at the floor on the floor in front of me, maybe about five feet away. Three, two, and one. Good, step back and kick back, okay? Our third A, B, A, B for this first block, okay? So step back and kick back. Two and one. If you're seated, you're just sitting closer to the edge of your chair so you can tap those toes back. Move at your own pace. You can do this without weights too. Sidestep with that W fly is next. If you wanna use weights, I just suggest a very light pair, like a one pound weight, maybe two if you're really strong, because these are, remember, it's they're lighter weights because they're smaller muscle groups we're using, okay? and time, okay? So that's why I'm suggesting really no more than one pound weight here because they're very small muscle groups in the back, okay? What'll happen is you, if your weight's too heavy, you start recruiting muscle groups we're not trying to recruit in this exercise. Here we go. That's why sometimes I prefer when the weight is a little bit lighter, you can actually get that better mind-muscle connection Right? If it's too heavy, sometimes you can't make the connection because too many other muscles are trying to, uh, are being recruited to help those smaller muscle groups. That's why I do like this one body weight. You're just doing your lateral taps if you're seated. Three, two, and one, back two kickbacks, and kickbacks next, okay? All right, so optional, if you don't wanna hold the weights, you don't have to. Ready, three, two, and one. You're standing, I'm really trying to flex that foot, I'm trying to think of a heel coming up. Ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Sidestep with W fly. All right, we're gonna take a break after this, go into the second one, okay? Here we go. In three, two, and one. So I'm thinking about my shoulder blades pulling my elbows back, right? It's not like, it, it's not my fingertips are pulling my shoulders back, right? Think about where the movement starts from, all right? 
getting these lateral side steps or lateral abduction if you're seated in to help target those glute medius. The side areas of our glutes right here. Help to keep our knee healthy and help us with our balance. Okay, the stronger our glute medius is, that side glute, the better balance we'll have. Three, two, and time. Excellent, okay. Take a breather. We're gonna go into our second ABAB, so same format, different exercises. While you're recovering, getting your drinks, I'm gonna explain that to you. We've got <clears throat> similar to our hinge and row, we're gonna do that deadlift pattern. You know how we did this? Put it away. Now we're gonna do it with a gorilla row. So we've got that wide stance for our hinge, toes are forward, weights come in between the legs. As we hinge, we're going to row, row, stand, back down, row, row, stand. Okay, so from the side, this looks like push the hips back. Notice my spine here, okay? What you don't wanna do is try to come down with your, your head or your shoulder and, and do something like this, okay? That's, that's when you start to uh, create a lot of pain in the lower back, okay? So it's all about, boom, pushing them back, okay? Down, row, row, and up, okay? So that's our first one, our all gorilla row to stand. Then we have lunges, okay? So with the side of your chair, the back of your chair, no chair, but it right near you, or your seated variation is your alternating leg press. Okay, so I'm leaning back on my chair, hands are on the sides of my chair as I press away. Okay, gorilla row, row, row up, okay? All right, and then after that, we did this last week, we have our three-way ball pass, okay? So standing, we're gonna pass, pivot and pass, pass, pivot and pass, okay? So we always come back to center as we pass, okay? This looks the same seated, but we don't have to worry about that little pivot, okay? Or that bounce through the knees, we just, Okay, and then that is paired with our sweep and shoot. Okay, so you're going to pick the ball up, shoot, sweep, pick the ball up, shoot. Okay, um, option, if it becomes too much to come up onto your toes here, you, you can take that part out. Okay, if you feel like it, it's, it's jeopardizing your balance, just do it without that. Okay, all right, here, we're gonna keep the legs wide. Sweep, shoot, sweep, shoot. Okay, so your feet will stay stationary if you're seated. All right, last one, or last two. This one is new. Um, if you're seated, you're going to be doing an alternating leg extension. Okay, here's your seated variation. Um, if you're standing, we're going to do a donkey kick. Okay, so I'm holding on to the back of the chair. I could also be holding on to the wall. I could have my hands on the wall if that feels more comfortable and you have that wall space available, okay? Kick, I'm flexed through my heel, right? I'm pressing with my heel, kick, 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 okay? So I'm getting a contraction through my glute and I'm getting an extension, a stretch through my hip flexor, okay? Which these are often tight and these are often weak. So we're kind of, doing what we need to do to help correct that, okay? And then we're gonna pair that with our one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold. Remember last week I introduced, if you're a little advanced, you wanna go, you wanna shuffle it, one, two, three, like you're on hot coals, right? Or hot sand, ouch, 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 right? So that's if you're advanced, you can put a little hop in it. Not necessary, but it's there if you want to, okay? Um, you're seated, it's just going to, you know, you're just gonna take the lateral out. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold, okay? All right, so here we go, gorilla row, all the little gorilla row. So we're back to that wide stance deadlift, okay? Toes are forward, 
wider than shoulder width, weights are on the inside. Okay, let's get ready and begin. Okay, remember, we push the hips back, neutral spine, row, row. Squeeze the glutes to lift, okay? This whole time, I, I really am trying to keep my belly button pushed back towards my spine. All right, I'm working the lats and the glutes. Lunges are next. Three, two, and one. Okay, alternating lunge. Okay, remember, you can do it this way or this way this way or our seated alternating leg press, okay? I'm just gonna face forward and use one arm here. Here we go, step it back, lower down, drive it up, return, right? Go through your range of motion, okay? That could look different on different people, okay? Work within your limitations. We all have limitations to some degree or another, right? It's not, it's it's about learning how to work around them, right? Almost there, less than 10 seconds, and we're gonna go back to our second set of that alternating gorilla row. Two and one, good, all right. Here we go. Wide stance, right? Shoulder width apart, toes are forward, okay? And weights are in between the legs here, okay? Ready? Here we go, we're gonna push the hips back, row it, row it. Squeeze the glutes to stand, okay? So this is still a hinge and row variety, right? We're just switching up the stance of our feet and we're taking it from doing both arms at the same time to alternating, okay? You're pushing the hips back so that the uh, spine stays neutral. Kind of looking at some focal point on the floor about five feet in front of you or so. That'll help keep your neck in alignment with the rest of your spine. And time, good. Back to our lunges. And then we're gonna move on to our three-way ball pass and sweep and shoot. Okay, let's get ready. And begin, all right? So you can be holding onto both, um, the chair with both hands or one hand like I am. You could be doing your alternating seated leg press or you can challenge yourself and take your hands away. Here's an excellent example of a good balance exercise that, uh, and good ab exercise that's hidden, right? You don't necessarily realize that it takes a lot of core strength to be able to do this without any um, assistance or holding on to. That doesn't mean you should take away your assistance if you really cannot, uh, if you really cannot stand straight without it, okay? Time. Um, all right, three-way ball pass is next, okay? One dumbbell or light weight. Okay, take it away if it's too heavy. Ready? And begin. Center. Yeah, with those lunges, if you just feel like you're not there yet where you can do it without holding on to something, keep on holding on to something and try to work on that mind muscle connection in the lower body there. Feel those muscles working, okay? Because the stronger they get, the more intense you can feel that connection, then the um, easier it will be to go ahead and start taking your hand away and do it without any assistance. And time. All right, sweep and shoot is next, okay? 
So it's a little breathy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick that ball up and shoot it into the basket, okay? All right, ready? And begin. Sorry, my timer just went down. There we go. Pick it up, shoot it. Remember, you can take the heel raise out of the equation if you feel like it's uh, compromising your balance too much, okay? We want to be safe. Remember, if you're seated, those legs stay in the um, open position the whole time, and you just sweep through the torso time. Back to our three-way ball pass, okay? Whew, getting the heart rate up with, the, with this duo here, ready? Here we go, begin. Pass it, pivot and pass, pass, pivot and pass. Remember, find your own tempo, you don't have to match mine. If that does not work for you, it's up to you. What feels appropriate for you and your body. You can get rid of the weight if you're holding one, if it feels too intense on the upper body. Three, two, and one. Okay, back to our sweep and shoot. In five, <clears throat> three, two, and one. Here we go. Sweep and shoot. Sweep. Have fun with this one. It's one of those sneaky ones, but it's also kind of fun too. I guess that's what makes it sneaky. At least I think it's fun. I, you know, I like those lateral ones. You've been with me. You know, I have fun when we move in those lateral patterns. 10 more seconds. Two. And time, excellent, we move on. Okay, we have our donkey kicks. Remember, if you're seated, what you're gonna do here, it's a little different, okay? But you're gonna do this right here. And if you're standing, we're gonna go ahead and kick, all right, through the heel. Squeeze the glute, all right? Make sure you're squeezing right here as you press, kick that heel back, okay? Slow it down if you need to. If you need to slow it down so that you can feel that mind-muscle connection, okay? Because if you're not squeezing through this glute, you could be putting some excessive arching through the back. It might look more like this, okay? And that's gonna cause some discomfort through your lower back. So try to squeeze the glute as you press that heel. Excellent. Lateral three count high knee. Remember, if you're seated, you're just going to be one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold, okay? Let's get ready. Again, so it's one, two, three. Okay, this is our middle option right here. You can regress it by going to seated, or you can progress it by one, two, three, your hot cold. Okay. And maybe you're somewhere in between those two. Maybe you can do a back and forth like the hot coals here and then do a back and forth like this. Okay, so tailor it, okay? You pick how you wanna do it. Two and one, okay. Back 
to those donkey kicks. If you're seated, you're gonna do your alternated leg extension, okay? But remember, you really wanna engage that gluteus. Your heel presses something, like think of closing a door, right? Think of closing a door with the heel of your foot. Keep that glute turned on. Squeeze the glute and press. Squeeze and press. Squeeze and press, okay? Ten more seconds here. Three. And time, okay. Last set of lateral three count high knees and we break and then we put those two blocks together. Okay, let's get ready in three, two, and one. One, two, three. One, two, three. See how I'm just tailoring this to suit my needs. Does not have to look like my um, rhythm. You find yours, time. Okay guys, two 12 minute blocks done. We're gonna put those two blocks together for one more round. Okay, so we're going back to the, come all the way, all the way back to the top, okay? So let's go ahead and get a drink. You should feel your body temperature elevated at this point. Maybe, you know, feeling nice and warm. As that accumulated fatigue and work kind of sets in. All right. Back to the top. One more round of each. We're starting with our squats. Or if you're seated, you're going to do your alternated leg extension, okay? All right. 45 seconds is going on the clock. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Okay, option to hold a weight up here at your chest. Let's get ready and begin. Notice the difference from our squat and drive it up to our hinge, okay? Our chest stays a little more upright. Our hips still push back, but then there's a little more knee flexion with our squat. Drive up. This recruits a little more of the front of our leg than our hinge motions. Jumping jacks are next. Three, two, and one. Okay, all right, all done with those. Jumping jacks, okay, make your own pattern here. You can do these seated as well. And again, like always, you can come here if overhead is a nuisance, okay? Here we go. So you pick. I think I'm going to do a little hybrid, a little bit of both. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. And we go to ground overhead. Two and one. Okay. <coughs> nice wide stance. Okay, if you're seated, your feet are going to stay like this. Okay, toes are forward. All right. And if you're standing, your feet are going to stay like this, actually. Here we go. We're going to bend down, pick it up, put it away. Take this overhead press out if you need to. 
Remember, you can also have two weights is too heavy. Here's what it looks like with one weight. I'm just holding the dumbbell like this, okay? And you can take away the weight too if you just want to go through range of motion and you're practicing form. The weight is in the heel of my feet. So still when I drive, when I pick my upper body up from here up, my glutes are lifting me up, okay? Two and one, okay. Bring those feet closer together, all right? Now our feet are underneath our hips. Toes are still facing forward. We're still hinging. Our dumbbells are now on the outside. We're gonna hinge and row, okay? Ready? Begin. So see, it's still a hinge movement for the ground overhead and the hinge and row. It's just the stance, the, the distance of our feet has changed. And this, when your feet are closer together like this, this uh, targets the hamstrings a little bit more, where the other one is a little more um, glute focused. Tricep kickbacks with a hand curl kickback or next. Three, two, and one, okay. So you don't have to use weights here if you don't want, okay? We're doing our kickback for our triceps and our kickback for our hamstrings, okay? Toe taps if you're seated. It's a little more of a toe tap, okay? Here we go. Otherwise, if you're standing with me, you know, try to keep that foot flexed and get that heel up towards the glute. You'll get a nice stretch through the front of the leg while you're contracting the muscle in the back of the leg. Side step with W fly is after this one. Ten more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Okay. Side step with W fly. One pound weights or water bottles or no weights. Okay. Remember, these are smaller muscle groups. You know, a heavier weight's not gonna target them, okay? And here we go. And it's often sometimes, you know, assumed that the heavier weight means, you know, the, the better the, the workout. That's not entirely true. You know, there's a lot of factors to that, you know? And if you're trying to lift a heavy weight for a muscle that can't handle that weight, you're, you know, you're, um, more susceptible to injury, okay? As well as not actually strengthening the muscle you're trying to, because it just can't handle the load. So mind-muscle connection, I'm thinking right back here. When I pull back, boom, think of good posture. They're the muscles you're making strong for good posture. And time, whoo. Alt gorilla row to stand. So we're back to that wide stance deadlift here. Okay, toes are forward, wider than shoulder width, with weights in between the legs, just like our ground to overhead. Okay, but we're gonna row it and row it instead. Back down. Row, row. Do you remember where you sh should be looking? Some focal point on the floor about five feet ahead of you. That way your neck stays in line with your spine and squeeze the glutes up, right? The glute squeeze up is what's lifting your upper body back up, okay? Lunging is next, guys. Two and one, excellent. All done with those. Lunging, okay, holding both on the back of the chair, one arm on the side, no arms, or you're gonna do your alternating seated leg press, okay? I'm gonna do one arm here. Remember quality over quantity, okay? Make sure 
you feel really solid with your work. Don't go so fast through it that you're missing right here. You know, that takes muscle, that takes work to like, you know, come down, right? So if you're, if you're doing this, it, it's, you're not working the muscle as hard as if you're slowing it down and keeping that time under tension on the muscle, okay? Remember that front heel should always maintain contact to the floor because that's what helps drive you up. It's pressing that heel down into the floor. And time. Okay. Three-way ball pass. Okay. Starting with the center, then we pivot and pivot, or back, back to center, and then pivot the other side. Here we go. Center, other side. Center, side, center. You find your rhythm here. It does not have to move at my speed here. And if it becomes too tough for the upper body to push that weight out, you can just drop that and continue without the weight. Less than 10 seconds, and we're gonna sweep and shoot. Two and one. Woo. Okay, feeling that heat now. Sweep and shoot. Remember, if you're seated, your feet are going to stay wide as you sweep and shoot. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Sweep, pick the ball up, shoot. Okay, coming up onto those toes only if you can, right? And again, here's another one where you tailor. Maybe you're good to do it four times in a row coming up to toes. And then maybe you need to do four times in a row of not coming up to your toes, okay? Find a sequence that fits you. Ten more seconds. Woo! Two and one. Okay, donkey kickbacks. Okay, you can either hold onto the back of the chair, put your hands, your palms up against the wall. If you're seated, you're doing a leg extension, a little different, okay? But we wanna make sure you're getting some work done in here while we're doing these, right? And I'm just imagining I'm closing a door with the heel of my foot, push it closed, right? Keep your glute turned on right here. As I'm pushing through the heel, Squeeze right here, okay? Just one more exercise after this, guys, and then we're gonna cool it down. Two. And one, okay, lateral three count high knee, okay? If you're seated, it's just one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold, okay? If you're standing with me, we're gonna move it side to side. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. And if you feel like you're progressing past this one right here, Right, hot sand. <laughs> I know we've all been there. And the trick is to be able to balance. That's harder than it looks because you're moving, you're creating this momentum, and then you're stopping it in its tracks, and you're doing it all one foot. And time. All right, guys, recover, get a drink. Our cool down is going to be just a little bit of ab work and stretching combination. Okay. Ab and stretch combination here. So we're going to go on a uh, Tabata timer here. 
and this is our cool down. All right, so our first one, all right, we're gonna do our leaning back, our scooping. I really want you to try to focus on this C curve right here, okay? Opposite, when I tell you to deadlift and I'm like, keep that spine nice and straight, that's when we're trying to get in the glutes. Now we're trying to get into the abdominals, which means we have to come here, okay? So, so we're alternating knee tuck and crunch, okay? And then our second one is gonna be our twist. Okay, right here, all right. And then our third exercise is going to be um, our four count cherry picker. Okay, so this is what it looks like seated and standing. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Okay, so there are our exercises. We're gonna get a nice stretch out the back because we worked a lot of that today. So Tabata timer going on. It's actually a six minute Tabata pyramid. Um, so we're gonna start with our knee tuck crunches from a seated position, okay? All right, so creating, I'm on the edge of my chair here, creating that C curve, right? Scoop in here, rounding the back. Let's get ready and begin. I'm gonna knee tuck and crunch. Ab cool down. This is ab and cool down mixed. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of our cool down and some abs at the same time. Two and time. Twist is next, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, twist, twist. Three, two, and one. Four count cherry picker is next, okay? So either seated or standing, I'm coming wide with those feet, toes are facing forward. Here we go. We do these in our warm up all the time. Out, middle, in, up. Uh, this is a Tabata pyramid too, guys. This is, I didn't explain this properly. It's 20 seconds of work, then 30 seconds of work, then 40 seconds of work, and then 50 and then back down. And time. So it's like the, the time creates a, like a pyramid, right? It goes up and down. All right, so we're back to our first exercise here. Knee tuck and crunch, okay? So we're going for 50 seconds here. Twenty more seconds. Ten, five, two, and one. Okay. Next, we're going to our Russian twist, that uh, thoracic twist here. Okay, we're gonna give a nice stretch out for the spine. Here we go. So we're at the top of our pyramid. We did 50 seconds of those knee tucks. Now we're doing 50 seconds of this. Next, we'll go to 40 seconds of our cherry pickers and 30 seconds of our knee tucks. 
and 20 seconds of our twists. Cool down move here, as well as abdominal exercise, okay? Trying to look over that back shoulder, but you're not forcing anything. It's like a dynamic stretch here. Three, two, and one, okay. Four count cherry pickers are coming up and we're almost done here. Got two minutes left of this. Here we go. So out, middle, in. Ten more seconds here, and then we're done with four count cherry pickers. Two and one, all done with those. Last 30 seconds of our alternating knee tucks here. Okay, almost done. Here we go. So I'm trying to think of um, when I'm extended and scoop here, I'm trying to think of my abs pulling up. Just 10 more seconds of these, and then we're gonna finish off with our twists. Two and one, excellent. Final exercise out of our ab cool down here is our twist, okay? So I'm still just keeping a little bit of a scoop here and then I'm gonna twist, twist, trying to feel that gentle dynamic stretch all through here, right? Getting a nice stretch through the neck, but trying to look back and time. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take one big inhale up here. Exhale. Hands to heart, one more time. And exhale, hands to heart. Woo, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed that one today. A um, little different spin on our cool down. Um, hopefully it was enjoyable. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. Mm -hmm.